Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Now you're probably wondering what I'm doing with two pieces of Unistrut. Well today we're going to create a roof rack to mount the solar panels on for the van. Now most of you will know that a roof rack uh, they're expensive for a van because obviously it's a bigger area is a lot more expensive and when I was looking we're looking at sort of four five hundred six hundred pound plus so for less than a hundred pound I'm going to create a roof rack from four pieces of Unistrut that will be able to mount two 200 watt solar panels. So let me show you how. So I purchased four three meter length pieces of Unistrut. Two of those are going to go down either side of the van. Now I've got a medium wheelbase uh, for transit and those two three meter lengths fit perfectly. The other two pieces, uh, and, and as luck would have it, um, the width of the van, uh, I can cut these into 1.5 meter length, so pretty much in half, and they're going to go across, and the solar panel then mount to these. So, lucky with the Ford Transit, there are some pre drilled holes all the way down. So, you just need uh, what I used was a, um, a heat gun to take the rubber caps off, give it a bit of a clean, and then I've got, I think, four holes that uh, I can attach the three meter length Unistruts. Now, you do need to buy a pack of these spaces. Now, I'll leave a link to these in the description. Because the roof is curved, we're gonna to need to raise the roof a little, or the Unistrut a little bit, so for the cross beams to go across. So, I'll leave a link to these in the description. And the other bits we need are basically this, like this spring, which goes, it's got like a spring underneath it, and then obviously a place for the uh, bolt to uh, screw into. And these go into the into the Unistrut, and then we've got some M. I think these are M8 bolts that basically go into there, and then using some lock washers, and again just a couple of more spacers, just so we can modify the height and get it up and down. And the good thing about this is because of these, you can actually move the Unistrut backwards or forwards. So I've got going to be putting one solar panel up for the moment and then at some point in the future I'm going to put another solar panel so I can probably move the current one back a little bit to make space for the second solar panel. So how do we piece it all together? So these are the bits that are going to go across. On the van we're going to have one piece of Unistrut that is already bolted down to the van. Then Using, then, sorry, then using one of these, now these will lock in place. So if you look carefully, you'll see we've got like a little bit of a rounded edge. So they allow you to sort of basically pop it in and then twist it round. I don't know if you can see that very well. Twist it round and then it'll lock in position. It's got these grooves that will attach to underneath the Unistrut. So once one of those are in, and of course as you tighten it, it'll pull it up and it's going to grip the underneath of the Unistrut. I'll show you that in, in a second. Then we can use some of these square spaces so as to go on top. And then what we'll be looking to do is the pieces that go across will attach in here and then using again some washers we'll put oops, a bolt all the way through with a lock washer and then we have our we have our roof rack and then the solar panel as you'll see later in the video We'll then bolt onto this in a very similar fashion. We'll bolt onto this and the solar panel will sit in the gap. Okay, so we're back up on the roof today and we're going to start to take these sort of plastic plugs out. And the plan for today is to get the two pieces to go down the, you know, each side, cut the cross sections and hopefully fit the third panel. Uh, weather today, perfect. 
a little bit chilly, hence the fingerless gloves are back out. Uh, but we're not looking like any rain, so um, hopefully we can make some good progress. So, for this job, I've got a heat gun and a few bits of tools to try and get these, these four plugs out. Hopefully that shouldn't take too long. Well, see how we get on. So there we go, there's the first one out, and that came out <laughs> within about a minute, if that. So I don't know if you can just make out there, there is a M3, sorry, and I'm hoping that's an M8 bolt, or it might be M6, but we'll check. I'll go and find one, and we'll check it. Okay, so... So there we've got the M8 bolt, which is going to go through, and perfect. All right, let's move on to number two. That last hole is very close to the mark. Let me show you. <laughs> Lovely day it is. There we go. That, you can see the gap, but it fits, so that is the main thing. Um, next stage is we'll get these treated with some direct metal paint so they don't rust. And then I'll show you what I plan to do, because obviously, because they're in a slight dip, I need to raise them a little bit, use some stick flex to seal, so I'll make it watertight, and then bolt them down. I'm hoping I'm not, these aren't too long, I'm not gonna have to cut these down. No idea how, how far these will go in. We'll, we'll find that out in a minute. Okay, so what I've had to do is I've had to cut down each of the bolts, pretty much in half, uh, just so they fit in and they tighten otherwise they're just not going to go all the way down. So I've cut eight bolts down to size and what I intend to do next is just screw everything or bolt everything in place, leaving the unistrut off, stick a flex around it, leave it for about an hour to, to dry, hopefully then carefully take the bolts out, put the unistrut back on and then bolt that down and hopefully we'll be good to go at that point, do the same with the other side and then we just need to cut cut the cross sections and making that ready for the uh, solar panel. All right. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put some more sticker flex around.
Okay, so I'm going to take the bolts out now. It's had about an hour to dry, so hopefully I'll be able to take the bolts out without the spacers moving. And then I should be able to then bolt this bit of uni strut back on. Yeah, that's stayed in place. Right, moment of truth. Two, three. So we'll put these back in. We we'll put them back in loosely, and then I can adjust up or down accordingly and then we'll tighten up. Now, after painting the Unistrike, you probably can't say, and I'll show you in a minute, it scratched in some places. It scratches really easy. So, once I've got everything on, I'll probably just go around and touch it up with some just black paint. Um, just buy some Hammerite direct to metal paint and just touch that up. I mean, no one's really going to see it, but it's more about just keeping things looking neat and tidy. So there we go. Uni strut all in. And you can see what I mean where it's just scratched a little bit. So I'll just touch that up once I'm done. But they're all nice and tight. Other ones over there. And then that light's gonna come out. That's where I'm gonna drop my cables for me uh, solar panel. Okay, so here we are. The curve of the roof, this could have done with being a bit higher. So what I've done instead, I've raised this cross beam here. So it's just above, you can just see that, just above the curve of the roof. So, now that the four brackets are nice and tight, we need to mount the uni strut. to this. Now the only problem is, I am going to have to cut the bolts short again as they're not as they're not going to go all the way through so I need short bolts
Okay, so I've got everything installed and set up. So in panels on the roof, the positive and negative come through that hole there. And this is just a temporary setup um, as this is gonna be a bit of a learning curve for me. So I don't wanna put anything set in place until I'm happy that it's all working. So cable comes down. Now it comes into this 32 pole isolator which then goes obviously into the charge controller. I've got a isolator, bus bar, and I've wired a couple of things up already. And that's the battery. So, as you can see, it's, it's a bit of a rainy day today, um, but it's working, which I'm happy with. And obviously I can isolate the solar panel. I can also isolate the battery. And I've also got a USB, which is working. So all in all, I am pretty, pretty happy that um, everything is good to go. So that's it for this video. I'm pretty happy with that the single solar panels on is connected to the battery and we've got power inside the van. So I'm more happy at that. The layout of the board, I know it's quite spread out, but I'm just, this is just me getting used to sort of wiring in the electrics, making sure things work before I put them in their final place. And I'll do that probably in a later video. Now I'm filming this last little bit inside the van as it's pouring down with rain and I don't particularly be standing outside getting soaking wet. So if you've got any questions or anything like that, please leave them below. I'll do my best to answer. Everything I've used in this video will be in the description below. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. It really does help me. So thank you very much. And I'll see you all in the next video.